tub, laundry basket, iPhone, shower shoes. You've checked everything off your dorm list. Everything apart from the perfect pet. To get you ready for those upcoming exams and help you pick which creature is right for you, consider which of the following statements fits you best. Fill in the blank. The ideal dorm pet is A. Small B. Quiet C. Low maintenance D. Inexpensive or E. All of the above If you picked E, here are 8 pets that make incredible study buddies Party Pals Number 8. Burgundy Snail the burgundy or Roman snail is a gastropod mollusk otherwise known in the culinary world as escargot. But before you get any ideas about scrapping your student meal plan, check out the reasons why the burgundy snail would be better as your pet than on your dinner plate. Burgundy snails are both crepuscular and nocturnal, so their schedule fits well with that of a busy college student. When you're in class, they'll be snuggled up in their shells, and when evening hits, you'll both be ready to party. They have two pairs of antenna, which give an alien-like appearance. One set sits high on their heads and has eyes on the end. And a smaller set of olfactory antennae are directly below. Like all land snails, when not being utilized, both sets can be retracted. Another awesome reason to pair up with a burgundy snail is its life expectancy. A well-loved snail can live up to 35 years. Before selecting a snail as a roomie, make sure it is a species that is legal to own. Highly invasive species like the apple snail and the African land snail have either been banned in the U.S. or are illegal to move across state lines, as they have no natural predators in North America, which allows those released into the wild to overpopulate and destroy crops, homes, and infrastructures. Number 7. Guppy what pet doesn't bark, doesn't bite, never has to go for a walk, can be found in a wide variety of colors, and has a name that rhymes with puppy? One of the world's most popular tropical fish, the guppy. Two. What makes guppies such great pets is they are easy to look after. Just be sure to feed them, typical fish food will suffice. Clean their aquarium often, and keep their water temperature around 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Do this and your guppies might live for two years or more. Guppies are also fascinating to watch. Rather than laying eggs, they give live birth to their little ones. And you can even see the baby's eyes through their mother's skin. Freaky, but cool. Speaking of freaky, to keep their home from becoming overpopulated, guppies can occasionally become cannibal and eat their young. Freaky, not cool, but necessary. And if you want to relax after a long day of class, there's no better way than to net fish and chill. Just sit back, relax, and watch your guppies swim to and fro in their aquatic wonderland. Number 6. Tree Frog We all wish we had a pet that is unique or looks cool. Well, the tree frog is unique, looks cool, and is pretty darned cute. Besides being adorable, tree frogs make great pets because there are so many different species. And each species has physical characteristics that lets it stand out from the crowd. Three of the most desired varieties are the red-eyed tree frog, gray tree frog, and the Pacific tree frog. But likely the most popular is the red-eyed tree frog. They are a bright kermit green color with large orange feet, blue and yellow sides, and big red eyes. Gray tree frogs have markings similar to a viper or rattlesnake, which is a sneaky way to keep predators away in the wild. The Pacific tree frog has the ability to switch from brown to green and every shade in between. They can also morph from solid coloring to patterns and vice versa. Sometimes they will even display color combinations, the most common being brown and green. This capability is set off by seasonal fluctuations. Tree frogs are highly antisocial. They do not require a frog friend, and would rather not be handled. They have delicate skin, and touching can be extremely unpleasant for them. When your frog does have to be touched, be certain to wear gloves, as the oils on your skin can harm them. 
Also, some species are a bit toxic and can irritate your skin in return. Number 5. Hermit Crab Looking for a friend that is nocturnal and will eat basically anything? You don't have to look far. Just go to the closest frat house or campus library. Or find yourself a hermit crab. Hermit crabs get their name from their ability to retract into scavenged shells and hollow scraps of wood or stone to protect their soft exoskeletons. As your crabs grow, they will have to switch to increasingly bigger shells. It is imperative to have a supply of shells on hand in differing sizes. Hermit crabs are interesting to watch. They enjoy socializing and are best to have in groups of three or more of the same species. In the wild, when it is time to molt, they will just exchange shells with another crab or fight with a competitor over a desired new home. When your crabs molt, you must protect them by keeping them apart with a divider or moving the other crabs to a different tank. Their diet encompasses everything from commercial hermit crab products to veggies to non-citrus fruit, nuts, fish food, and brine shrimp. They must always have a fresh supply of non-chlorinated water within reach, even if they don't drink it. Sometimes plant moisture is sufficient to keep them hydrated. Keep these tips in mind to keep your hermit crab happy and healthy. Number four, betta fish. There may be plenty of fish in the sea, but there are few as beautiful and fierce as the betta. Betas can be seen in vibrant colors and varied combinations of blue, green, red, yellow, purple, black, pink, and white. Their tails also come in a variety of shapes, allowing them to flourish gracefully about. These shapes include the veil, double, crown, half moon, and short fin fighting styles. The beta, or Siamese fighting fish, did not get its name from pledging a fraternity or sorority. Its name actually comes from its history as an aggressive sporting fish. When pitting the naturally aggressive fish against each other became popular in the 1800s, they were nicknamed after the Beta, an ancient clan of warriors. Bets were based on the fearlessness of the fish rather than how badly they beat their opponent. In honor of their beauty, they are also known as the Jewel of the Orient. As you might have guessed, betas are incredibly antisocial and must live alone, regardless of gender. While most tropical species are schooling fish and like to share their space, betas would prefer to swim alone and like to hide in caverns and other aquatic shelters. Although these traits are all excellent reasons to pick the beta fish as your next ride or die, perhaps its coolest trait is its ability as a labyrinth fish. A fish that is able to inhale oxygen directly from the air, like humans. This unique ability enables beta fish to survive out of water for short periods of time, so long as they are kept moist and will let you slack off a bit, as busy students commonly do, in regards to changing their water. Number 3. Hamster. If you want a pet that can fit in your pocket, making them a classmate as well as a roommate, a hamster might be the little friend you've been searching for. Among adults and kids, the hamster is arguably the most popular pocket-sized pet. They are adorable and cope best when housed by themselves. They come in several breeds and colors and live an average of two years. So, if you don't get along, just be patient. You'll likely have an opening for a new companion in a few years. There are lots of different breeds of hamsters, and these breeds are seen in a variety of different colors and have traits that differentiate them from each other. Syrian hamsters, dwarf hamsters, and Chinese hamsters are three primary types of hamsters that can be found in pet stores. Chinese and dwarf hamsters only grow to be around four inches long. Syrian hamsters are the most common variety of pet hamster. They are larger than the Chinese and dwarf and have descriptive nicknames like teddy bears, goldens, and pandas. Hamsters are highly active and fun to watch. They love playing with toys and running around outside their cages and on their exercise wheel. They also love climbing, hiding in cute little houses, and when tamed, being held by their owners. Hamsters are nocturnal and generally not aggressive, but will bite when scared. So, try not to wake yours up after a long night of partying. Number 2. Leopard Gecko 
Let's face it, geckos are cool. There's one gecko who is so cool, he can wear the markings of a wild animal while keeping its composure. The leopard gecko. Leopard geckos have lots of unique physical characteristics. They are one of a small number of gecko species which has visible ears and eyelids, which is both weird and wonderful. Their eyes and ears are a perfect conversation starter, making them the best wingman woman. Another reason leopard geckos make an excellent dorm pet is that they can't climb vertical surfaces, as they lack the adhesive structures that most geckos possess. This means you won't have to cover their terrarium or be concerned about them escaping while you're in class. Lastly, let's talk numbers. Leopard geckos can grow to be as long as 10 inches, almost the size of a small iguana. With proper care, they can live as long as 20 years, almost as long as it takes to pay off a student loan. Number 1. Parakeet Sometimes dorm life can get lonely, and bouts of homesickness come with the territory. Well, guess what? We have a pet for that. The number one pet on our list qualifies as the social butterfly of dorm pets. The parakeet. Parakeets come in a stunning array of colors and can provide hours of entertainment for you and your friends. They love to explore and play with all sorts of bird toys. Bells, hollow items, and mirrors will make excellent toys for your active companion. Once your bird is tamed, it will love interacting with you. Eventually, your parakeet may even become comfortable walking on you or even sitting on your shoulders and getting close enough for a snuggle or a scratch. Want someone to talk to? Your parakeet will be thrilled to lend an ear. Male parakeets are able to mimic words and phrases, and females are capable of unintelligible chatter. In fact, they spend the majority of their time cheerfully squawking away the day to their humans, each other, or if there is a mirror around, themselves. If you want your parakeet to be fluent, make sure to talk to him every day. As we know, practice makes perfect. So, what kind of pet do you think is the best fit for a student living in a dorm? One that craves social interaction, or a lone wolf? Let us know in the comments below, like if you enjoyed this video, and as always, subscribe for more, and we'll see you next time.